questions, they look for anything. He's talking about the verse in the Quran, which he doesn't even believe in the Quran, because why they're dying? You know, they're in their spirits. Alhamdulillah, Islam is spreading. Worship God who is perfect. Follow the teaching of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam. You know, the Bible, the, the Western world left Christianity. The Western world who came and forced Christianity in Africans and Asia, they left it. Imagine I come with the sword to force you to become a Christian, then I leave it. That shows you that's what's going on, man. Like they left because why Christianity doesn't resolve any problem. Alcohol destroys societies. In the Bible, you drink alcohol. So God is telling you to destroy your society. There's no, you know, you know, Christianity is for people to be inside the, the church, but Islam is for the layman, likewise for the government to rule by Islam. Why? Because Allah is the creator of everyone. When Allah legislates something, there is no desires and bias involved. But when humans legislate something, if they're not prophets and messengers, they will be biased. For example, drugs harms people. It's not allowed, but alcohol it harms people. It's allowed. Can anyone explain that to me? <laughs> Why drugs is not allowed, even though alcohol causes more harm and more crimes has been carried out because of alcohol. So try to explain to me why drugs is illegal and alcohol, which cause more harm and many people commit crime because of alcohol, is legal. <laughs> Please help me out. Explain that to me logically. Do you know why? Because the people in authority, they like to drink. So they want to have alcohol. And alcohol, sorry, because people make money from alcohol. Yes. Even though alcohol is bad for us. But Islam comes in, Islam doesn't differentiate between same matter. And it doesn't not combine between the different matter. For example, in the Quran, there's no cigarette. Allah never said, do not smoke. But in the Quran, give us principle. Anything that harms you is forbidden. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah made that which is good for you, halal. Allah would. That which is evil is haram. It's forbidden in Islam. You know, that's why Islam came to preserve five things. Wait. Islam came to preserve five things. Islam came to preserve religion. What does that mean? In Islam, paganism, politism is forbidden. You only worship one God. Because when you don't have no guideline from your God, you start following your desires. So today, you said it's okay, tomorrow you change your mind. Next one, Islam came to preserve the intellect. That's why alcohol and drugs is forbidden. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Fourthly, Islam came to pre preserve marriage life. That's why adultery and fornication is forbidden. Fifthly, Islam came to preserve lives. That's why killing people unjustly is forbidden. That's why alcohol destroys societies. Gambling destroys societies. Uh, interest, what is interest? Interest is for the bankers to utilize it to make themselves richer and to make the poor poorer. So that it, it destroys societies. So likewise, fornication, adultery, destroy families. So Islam come to preserve families, preserve our intellect, preserve our health. So why some people hate Islam? There's two types of people hate Islam. Either they're ignorant about Islam or those who are making money from the suffering of the people. Because these vices I've mentioned, gambling, alcohol, interest, and so on, some people do make money from them. But overall, it's very harmful to societies. If I'm, I'm, if I'm a man and I'm making money from gambling, from interest, from uh, uh, what they call it, uh, 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 alcohol, then you come as a Muslim, I'm going to look at you as my enemy, even though you want good for the people. But because I'm making the money from the suffering of the people, what I'm going to do, I'm going to utilize my wealth because I'm rich to make you look bad, even though you're a good person. And this was happening exactly. The, problem, the, problem, the problems that we are facing today, there is no solution except by following Islam. How man that existed 1,400 years ago, he's coming this, with this perfect way of life. You know? How? Because he was a messenger of the Creator. Make sense? Uh, I, I see you listening. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think what I said? Uh, nice meeting you. Yeah. And um, yeah, after listening to you, I thought, yeah, I'm not a Christian. I thought I was. But I'm, yeah, I can't call myself a Christian. 
I can't call myself uh, Muslim. Muslim yeah. But you believe in God? I believe in God, yeah. And you, 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 yeah, you believe that we should worship our Creator? Give thanks. Yeah, give give thanks. thanks and acknowledgement. Yeah, I don't know if you heard my example I give. The example I always give, the example I always give to the people, I'm not sure if you heard it, but I mentioned it many times. I imagine I'm a multi-millionaire. Yeah. And I said, you know, you're a very nice lady meeting you. I'm just going to give you two million pounds as a gift. I don't want nothing from you. Two million pounds as a gift. If you take it, what would you say to me at least? Would you thank me? Yeah, thank you. Would you remember me all the time? Yeah, of course, two million pounds is a big money. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, I will give you two million pounds on a condition Give me your two eyes. No. no, go. Because your eyes is more valuable than anything. Yeah. So why we are not grateful and remember who gave us the eyes for free? Yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah, I'll give you another example, analogy. If you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift that you love or your mother love? That my mom loves. Likewise, if you want to be grateful and remember the creator, we should do it the way he loves, not the way we love. That's why he sent Jesus before that. Moses, now the last of them is the Prophet Muhammad. He come with the teaching, worship one God. We don't worship Prophet Muhammad. We worship God according to the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. If I was alive at the time of Jesus, in order to worship God, I have to follow Jesus' teaching because he was the messenger and the Messiah. Before Jesus, Moses. But now the last Prophet is Muhammad. And Jesus' teaching, we don't have it anymore. I mean, Jesus never spoke English. He spoke a language, we don't have it anymore. We don't even know those who translate Jesus' speech, if they were trustworthy or they're liars. Yeah. But when it comes to Quran, we still have it in its pure language, the Arabic. Yeah. And it, the Quran will never be lost because the Quran, it has been memorized. One of the miracles of the Quran that Allah said, The meaning of the verse, we have made Quran easy to be memorized. That is a statement in the Quran. Can we verify it? To be true, yeah, we can. If the Muslims and the Jews and the Christians, all of them decide to burn their scripture, the only scripture will remain with us is the Quran. Do you know who can bring it back into the written form? The Muslim children memorized it. Even the Muslim scholars, that's one of the miracles of the Quran. We still have it. We'll never be lost. So therefore, logically speaking, sister, no way God is going to leave us with a corrupted teaching. God will clarify the truth to us in order to worship Him according to His teaching and thereby becoming a Muslim, submitting to your Creator. You know, that's what I said. You I said, know, you uh, know, you never know. What is stopping you to become Muslim? Um, I think it would be the, the commitment of the female. You know, we're segregated in the mosque and, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's, it's recommended to cover your skin. Well, I know about vitamin D, it's very good to make vitamin D. I mean, I mean, yeah, you see what happened now, sister. Firstly, for example, not for example, what we know, God is the creator and he knows what is good for us in details and what is bad for us in details. Yeah, I mean, vitamin D again in the Muslim countries in Saudi, the woman there is not deficient with vitamin D. They are, the sun is too hot, you know, in, in the hot countries, even a man put more clothes. If you, if, you go, if you go watch documentaries about the desert in Algeria, man cover himself. Yeah, Not because Islam tells from, from the sun. Yeah, yeah, because it can cause a cancer. Yeah. Understand? So my, yeah, my point here is, when our creator told you to cover yourself, and he told me to cover myself according to his teaching, therefore there is not any doubt he wants good for us. But the example I always give, imagine you have a cake in front of you, big cake, massive one. If you eat all of it at once, you love cake, yeah? <laughs> well, ice cream, ice cream. Okay. <laughs> he likes ice cream. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's give you an example. Imagine you have too many ice cream in front of you. If you eat all of them at once, you're going to get sick. You're going to vomit. In order to feel the sweetness, step by step. Likewise, when it comes to Islam, step by step. That's what our mother Aisha, she said, the first thing that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, it was not about do not do this, do not do that. No, it's about recognizing and accepting your creator, worshiping him. Like when the creator said to cover, there's not any doubt it's good for you. When he said segregate, there's not any doubt it's good for us. You understand? Because he knows everything. You understand? And we know, you know, you know, sister, about free mixing. 
of necessity? No, but of necessity is okay. But did you know there was a research just came out recently in home office, in police stations, women has been harassed a lot, sexual harassment. Yeah, I know, in police stations, absolutely. So a police who's supposed to protect women, yeah. protect home office likewise, yeah. in many companies, do you know why? Because naturally, men incline toward the women. So we cannot lie to ourselves, sister. You know what's happening now? There's evil people try to de deceive us with a nice slogan, freedom, women's rights. But if you investigate, what is women's rights? Yeah, they try to deceive us. Yeah, you know? Yeah. What do you call it? Feminism has been totally hijacked for the detriment of, um, of women and men, to be honest. Like, no, feminism was created? Red Pill movement. You know about Red Pill? Red Pill? Red Pill. Alpha male sort of stigma. Red Pill movement oh. is another reaction of feminism. Okay. So, women should, should be sub submissive to a man, yeah. and the way they speak about women, very degrading. Do you know why? Because men in the Western world, especially in the Western world, men is become feels I start feeling it's been degraded too much. Yeah, like he doesn't have, I think so. you know, you know the boys seeing the, 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 the man at home being disrespected, he can do nothing. That's not good for the, the man the, the, no, instead. Okay. Islam comes okay. in, it's, that's why you need the guideline. That's why feminism, how it started, there's three stages. Uh -huh. Firstly, again, a man oppressing women. When a man oppress women too much, women exploded. They start asking for their right, for educational right, which is their right, no doubt. That's what Prophet Muhammad told us. Seeking knowledge is compulsory upon every Muslim male and female. That's her right, no doubt. However, they went to extreme. It becomes about fighting against men. So what created? Red Pill Movement. Red Pill Movement, men fighting against women. But we are created for each other. Allah said, man is there as a comfort for the woman. Likewise, the woman is a comfort for the man. You know, that's why marriage is very important. Of course, that's what Islam teaches you. That's why our Prophet Muhammad, before he died, he said, take, before he died, the last speech, he said, take care of your wives and your women. You know, when Allah, nah, I'm, I'm not going to try to uh, compromise Islam. Yes, Allah put a man in charge. But when Allah put a man in charge of the household, not to be tyrant, not to degrade women, to take care of her, to protect her to provide, provide for her and to listen to her. When our Prophet Muhammad came to his wife, she gave him a good option. And he went out and he told his companions, they accepted it. He didn't say to her, you woman, keep quiet, don't tell me nothing. No. That's why in the Quran, Allah mentioned to us in the Quran, there's two women Allah told us to follow. The, one of them is the mother of Jesus. What Allah told us to follow her? Because she was a believer. She was a strong believer in God. She was not deceived by the world. She was not de deceived by the Romans and their slogans. Likewise, the wife, the wife of Pharaoh, the wife of Pharaoh, Asia, she believed in God. She was not deceived by the, the power of Pharaoh or the authority of Pharaoh or the, the, the wealth of Pharaoh. So Allah told us to follow her, not to follow Pharaoh. Okay. But why then would you want women covered? Because the Creator knows without any doubt, like I said to your sister, look, there is two life. There is real life and there is a fake life. Some people, they want to deceive us that if a woman is not covered, nothing will happen. Yeah. That's not a reality. I'm not, there's no, when I was speaking out like this, we're not justifying men harassing women. There's no justification for that. However, imagine I have 20,000 pounds in a suitcase and I come to this busy place and I open my suitcase. Yeah, and then it's like to protect them. Yes, listen to this, yeah? Imagine I open the suitcase, yeah? And the people start stealing the money. Would you not tell me, Shamsi, what are you doing? But you, when you tell me, Shamsi, what you're doing, you're not justifying for the robbers. You're not saying what they did is good, but you're saying you should protect yourself. So when Allah, the Creator, who created everything, when He said the woman to cover, to be recognized as a good woman, and to protect herself from the evil ones. There's many evil men around. Like we spoke in police station, how many women have been harassed by the same people who are there to protect us. Because Allah knows that when women mix with a man without any necessity, especially not cover herself, that will occur. Right, but say like to follow Mary, then, yeah. you know, the uh, mother of Jesus and um, the 
other lady you mentioned. I mean, wouldn't you want to be able to identify them at least then? So can you see their face when they're talking to you, when they're giving you the... Are you talking about niqab? Yeah, anything that covers the woman. I mean, if you are saying these women are to be followed, don't you need to see them at least? No, so, so niqab firstly is not compulsory. That's the opinion I follow. It's not compulsory. So some women, they cover themselves, uh, their face, some don't cover their uh, face. But even covering your face, I mean, the pandemic teach us, you don't have to show your face to speak yeah, to people. We went to hospital covering our face. Round. Yeah, so, so the pandemic show us, covering my face doesn't not mean I cannot speak to you anymore. Yeah, I, we, I don't agree with that either. No, but what I'm saying, reality shows you, covering your face, you can still go to the banks. Mm. Remember, when they're covering your face with uh, compulsory, you still go to the banks, and they will serve you, you still go. However, in some situation, the Muslim woman who cover her face, if the police officer asks her to show her face out of security, she has to do it. No, no, she has to do it, yeah. yeah no, no, she has, that's Islamically. Like, if she's gonna go to the court, and she says, I'm so-and-so, how can he know? So the judge will say to her, okay, can I see you, see your face? Islamically is allowed, you understand? Yeah, travel passport. When they go, okay, I wanna see that your face. So it's allowed, but, Yes, yeah, some, some uh, Muslim women choose to cover them faces, and but when a, a woman is allowed to cover her face, not from another woman, like even if she's a non-Muslim woman, she's allowed to show her face, show her hair, no doubt. But no doubt, with Allah's sister, what you have to understand? Let me ask you this: Imagine I'm the first person to make a phone. I'm the first person to make an iPhone. If you want to learn about the iPhone, who do you go to? If I'm if I'm the first person to make it. Yes, you're going to come to me to know. Yeah. yeah, okay. Logically speaking, the Creator will create us if we, should, if we want to know what is good for us and what is bad for us in details. Logic dictates we should go back to the Creator. That's why Mary covered herself. That's why the other woman covered herself. That's why in the Old Testament it shows you if you don't cover yourself, even in the Bible, in the New Testament, you should shave your head. But the point here is when Allah told the woman to cover herself, there's not any doubt it's good for her. And that should not stop you to accept your creator. Yeah. Imagine you're in the house. May Allah forbid. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're in the house. And you wake up. No, of course. Don't no worry. Imagine you're in the house, yeah? And you wake up. And there's a fire everywhere. Everywhere. You try your best to save yourself. But you couldn't. And I came and I saved your life. Would you not thank me? Would you remember me all the time? You're not going to say to me, Shamsi, give me some time to thank you. You would thank me straight away. But I never gave you life. What about the one who gave you life for free? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the same with the eyes. The know? eyes, yeah. What I'm showing you here, you should not utilize anything right. to submit to your creator. Yeah. All of these excuses sometimes is not in our favor. Because if the create if you submit, Allah is the creator. Yeah. Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. Yeah. You know, the teaching that he came with, prophecies, the miracle, the logic dictates, no doubt. Even sometimes maybe Satan will whisper to us, but I know my creator, whatever he wants me to do, there's no doubt it's good for me. So I should not let anything, sorry, sorry, we should, I, I should, sorry, sorry, that's kind of, I should not let anything to prevent me from accepting my creator. That's my advice to you. Don't stop this hijab or lie. You can step by step. Again, this again, like I said to you, go back to the creator. So you have to understand, sister. The creator knows. Now, the woman showing her body, the, uh, there's evil outcome of that. And like I said to you, why women woman been harassed in police station? Why has been harassed in the shops? Why has been harassed in the companies? Why? Well, Let's be realistic. I'm not justifying the harassment, but we have to be honest. In order for me to, when you go to the doctor, in order for the doctor to give you the right medication, you have to be honest about your disease. Do you understand? Yeah. So likewise, th this is the reality. And now, women that are beautiful, she's a diamond in Islam. Uh, you, don't sh you don't show the diamond to everyone, do you? I suppose not. Uh, our woman is more expensive than a diamond. Yeah. So we don't show it to anyone. Okay. She's special, oh, not a diamond. Thanks. 
the lower com so so what so you still know accept Islam even though it makes sense? So you, uh, you see, I like my dress. Yeah, you can wear like this for your husband. Yeah. You don't have to watch everyone. <laughs> for your husband. You know, I will tell you something, yeah? People have been doing this for a long time. There's two factors why people don't accept Islam. Either psychological factor or social factor. Psychological factor, person is arrogant to accept Islam and is proud because he thinks, you know, if I follow Islam, and the social factor, when a person likes something and he knows Islam forbid it, even though no Islam is, makes sense as the truth. So you should not let that stop you. Because you, it's better to be Muslim and dress it like that. Because, you know, as a Muslim, dress it like that is a sin, no doubt. But like you, just becoming a Muslim step by step. You understand? That should not prevent you. Yeah, I get what you mean. Like. Yeah, step by step you learn. Like when I start practicing Islam. I like the head Step by step, you know, remember you have to know, sister, God is my creator. He created me, my own existence by his virtue. No doubt, when he said to me to cover, it's good for me. However, now, if I cannot do it because my, 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 I'm weak or I'm still learning, step by step, you know, you understand? So it's better off to accept Islam, then you learn step by step, sister. Then rejecting your creator, who is the most obvious, for a reason that will not benefit you on the day of judgment. The Creator creates paradise based upon His mercy and forgiveness. And He created the hellfire based upon His might and power. But the Creator also said, I will not make the evil one equal to the righteous one. And the most evil thing, when you turn away from your Creator, there is no reason to turn away from your Creator. All these reasons you mentioned I have respect. And I have to be honest with you, that's what Islam teaches me. All these reasons you're mentioning will not benefit you before your Creator. Well, lie. This is Satan. The devil tried to turn you away from the truth. So it's better off to become Muslim. Then, step by step, you start learning. Yeah. I take it on board. Yeah, it's me really, really. As a gift for you. Yeah. This very good book. Is it? Is the, you know what? Uh, yeah. This is the best book for you. Is it written by you? No, yeah. by my teacher, Hanif okay. Oliver. Okay. Yeah. He's my teacher, Amin. All right, thank you. It was nice to take care of yourself. Tell your husband we're sorry. <laughs>